Hello guys, welcome to Jazz Deck Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you yet another cool and awesome Polaroid tutorial. This one will be making a stack of Polaroids. Oh yeah, they're pretty chill. So let's just go and start. We're going to open a photo here. I'm opening a Jonas Brothers photo of Nick and Joe, because they scream Polaroid in this picture. Yep. So I opened this one here. They look pretty awesome, and they look even better in a Polaroid. Oh yes, they will. When you have your photo opened, you're going to click on the crop key, or the crop tool, over in the sidebar. And holding down the shift key, which it will ensure you to make a perfect square. Make a perfect square, such as I am doing here. And when you have your perfect square, just click, uh, double click on it, or you can hit enter, and you'll get your square like that. There you go. Then go to images and click on the canvas. Uh, canvas size. Yep. And then type in, make sure it's percent, and then type in 10 for the height and width. And then click OK, and you should have a white border. Not so much a Polaroid yet, but wait, we're going to do more. So go back into the canvas size again, this time type percent, and change the height to 10%, just the height. Then click the up thing, the up button. Yeah, that one there. And then click OK, and you should have your Polaroid. Awesome! Alright, well, let's do some more. So do a control J, make a layer 1. And then, just so we have more space, we're going to um, go back into canvas size, and click on percent, and we're going to change the height and width to 100%. Crazy, I know, but it gives us more space to work with. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. Okay, you have your workspace now, so double click on layer 1, and open properties, and you're going to select stroke. Now the stroke settings are default, so just keep them there, don't do anything. So keep the default settings for stroke. And then go on to uh, drop shadow. And then for this you're going to do the settings here I'm showing you. So yeah. Zoom in. There we go. So just type those little numbers in there. And you got that. Click OK on your screen and you're going to have that beauty right there. Now you can add your text or whatever you want to add. Um, I'm just writing Jonas. Um, feel free to add your own text. It's, not my pre it's your preference. And then move it to the center, just because it looks cool in the center. But if you want on the side, that's cool too. Yeah. Okay, once you have your text layer all cool and fine, you're going to select it, as well as layer 1, and you're going to do a control E, which merges those two together. Once you got those merged, you're going to do a control T, which will let you uh, rotate your photo. Yes, we're going to rotate them for the next few minutes. So just rotate this photo to the left or to the right. Wherever you want to rotate it is totally cool. When you have it rotated, hit enter. And then after you have that done, you're going to do a control, a control J. Make a new copy of that one. Rotate that one to the left or to the right. When you have that one, that one done, Hit enter again, and do a control J again for the next one. Oh, pretty much you're doing control J, rotate, control J, rotate for the next few minutes. So yeah, you get the drill now, right? Alright. And yeah, that's basically it right there. Uh, so yeah, I'm just doing my rotations and my control J's, and it's going to look pretty awesome. You can always go back and fix it if you need to. There's not a problem with that. I'm um, just going to try to make it look perfect. I'm going to center it. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's what mine looks like right now. Pretty awesome. And chill. I think it's awesome! Alright, now... Click on your background layer. And you're going to go into Edit and Fill. And fill your background completely white. Just so that one picture in the back isn't there anymore. But if you can see it, if you can if you can see it, do that. If you can't see it, then doesn't matter. Okay, you got that. Now basically all you're gonna do is just crop it. Crop it and size it so it looks awesome. Yep, just like that. And there you go. You have your stack of Polaroids looking all chill. Yep. That was a this is what mine looks like right now. Um yeah, that's basically the the effect. Um I also uh, did some imaging effects to make it more Polaroid-ish. Um, this is my Polaroid-ish effect right here. 
not that one, but this one here. And yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe.